As you saw a few weeks ago in my how to make an ice sphere video, I am now officially a booze nerd. The one that cares about the type of ice that comes in my cocktail. Now I feel a certain way about beers, there is a time and place for every beer in the world and there are often occasions where I just don't care what sort of ice comes in my glass, I'm just happy for the cocktail. But if I'm entertaining, I've got friends coming over or a special occasion, you can bet I'm going to make some really great cocktails and they're often going to have crystal clear ice in it. So I'm going to show you how to make some clear ice at home without a $6,000 Kleinbell ice machine. Now most ice frozen at home comes out sort of cloudy and hazy looking like this. The problem here is that the ice is freezing from every side simultaneously. The last stuff to freeze is the water that's in the middle of the cube. So not only are you trapping bubbles in there, but there is pressure. Ice expands as it freezes, so there's a massive buildup of pressure and all the bubbles trap and they fissure, so they leave this sort of cloudy, hazy thing. The reason you want clear ice is not only is it super sexy, but it actually melts slower. The less bubbles there are, the smaller the surface area. It gets really nerdy and sciencey from there. But the trick we need is we need directional freezing. We are going to need a contraption that will allow us to freeze from one direction slowly but surely making a crystal clear block. Now what you're going to need to accomplish this directional freezing is some sort of insulated cooler that fits in your freezer. That's the tricky part. Most of our coolers are sort of massive. I bought this one online for about $4 and it works perfectly. You're going to hear some guides say that you need to use boiled water or filtered water. Just fill it with tap water, throw it in your freezer, let it sit for about 24 hours. Typically, something about this size will not freeze the whole way through. That's perfect. If it does freeze the whole way through, you're going to get some cloudy stuff on the bottom that you're going to sort of have to chip off, but it's not that big of a deal. So I pulled this out of the freezer about a half an hour ago to sort of let it unfreeze from the insides of the cooler so I can sort of pop it out. So let's do it. Come on, you bitch. This is when I'm really happy that I'm not on live TV, you know? <laughs> Oh my god, it's coming. And here we go, a decent block of ice. We're gonna hack all this stuff off the bottom and then break this up into cubes. Now to break this down, we're gonna take a knife, we're gonna score a little edge on the top and then match that on the other side. This is gonna give the block two points on which to break. You're gonna take a little hammer or a heavy wooden spoon on your knife and you're just gonna sort of tap right through. continue to break this down the same exact way. Now you can really see the difference in the two ice cubes. This one's sexy, this one's trash. Now get yourself a freezer, make a crystal clear block of ice. The next time your friends are coming over, they'll be very impressed. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Pour yourself a little glass of whiskey. Make sure you hit subscribe and then drink along with me. Cheers.